Okay, another quick tip here for Photoshop um, deals with uh, sizing and a little bit of uh, process. Had a customer call me up the other day, asked me if I had any experience with passport photos. I said no, but I don't see it's like that big a deal to grab a picture and stick it on a passport. Well, he straightened me out. Um, actually, there's some fairly specific sizing situations and lighting and whatnot. So um, I told him it would still be all right. We could take care of it, no problem. So what I did was um, had him come down. I set up for a um, an isolated white back shot uh, for the process. I mean, for the uh, sake of demonstration here, I'm going to use this picture of my son. The first thing I did is um, once once I got into Photoshop, the first thing I did was because this is in metric, every all of the measurements here are in metric. I came up to file uh, Photoshop preferences, down to units and rulers, and um, changed the ruler to millimeters. I usually have it in inches and clicked OK. The next thing, um, the actual physical size of the image that he needs to submit to the passport place is between 3545 or 3850. So what I did was I went ahead and file, new, created a new document, changed this over to millimeters, and went with the larger size of 38 by 50. Click OK there and we'll stick that aside for a moment and the next thing I knew is that I would be printing it on a 4 by 6 sheet of paper um, so I came up here, file, new again, change this back to English and go width of 6 and height of 4 300 for the resolution again and stick this out of the way again now I'm going to come up here to the picture of my son and I'm going to go just get it down closer to that 38 by 50. I'm going to go image size and we're going to change this over. Oh, it's already a metric so height we're going to put at say 65 just to get us closer because um, I got space up here and down here. Actually let's, uh, let's make it 70 and click OK. Now I am going to take and drag this into the 38 by 50 document. I'll close this. I don't need it anymore. Now I am in the um, this is going to be the finished size that gets submitted to the passport company of um, 38 wide by 50 high. I'm going to center the picture of my son in there. Now if you come over here we have these other measurements that have to be followed from the chin to the top of the skull it has to be between 32 and 36 millimeters. So, which one am I on here? I'm going to drag out a guide here down to about the 5 uh, millimeter mark and um, let's add 32 on to 5 is going to give me 37 between 37 and 41. So I'm going to bring this down to 40 right there so that will give me a 35 which falls in between the 32 and 36 obviously now what I do is command T to bring up free transform I'm shifting this layer right here that's on top of the white and I am going to shift drag on the corner give me a ballpark on my top of the head top of the skull rather being right about there and then I'm going to shift drag on the chin to get it just at or maybe slightly above that guide I have there and then I'll have to come back up here to bring the top of the head back down a little bit more as well and that is it so now I have 35 millimeters from here to here I'm going to click enter to confirm that transformation I am going to click Command A to select all and go up here to actually let me center this first. Command D to deselect and then I'm going to move him over just slightly to get him centered into that picture, into that frame rather. Uh, Command A again, image, crop. And that gets rid of all the fluff that was outside the image that I was moving around with him. Uh, don't really need to do this, but I'm going to do it anyway. Just get rid of the guides. Command D and now move this over here, bring up that 4x6 picture, and then I'm going to drag this into that 4x6 print. 
Now technically speaking, that would be enough because now when I take this and print it on a 4x6 um, print, these measurements are going to be exactly what we want them to be to fall into that um, the, the requirements of that um, document. Um, the document also asks that you have two images um, submitted. So what I'm going to do is, just since I have all this extra space, I'm going to Command-J one, two, three, four, five times to give me six copies. And then I'm going to drag, come back here, Command-click and drag, Command-click and drag, Command-click and drag, and Command-click and drag. All right. <coughs> Sorry about that. And where do I have all the top ones here? I'm going to go over into my Layers panel and get all the ones that are on top next to each other and shift click that layer and I'm going to align them to the tops of each other and then um, just V get them up a little bit shift them up here a little bit till we're outside of that and then the same thing with the bottom three. Shift click on these and align the bottom and then I will shift drag them up closer to that. And that's pretty much it. I can um, I can align their centers a little bit and I would sit here and spend some more time getting them all lined out. The other thing I would do too um, is I would create a layer style and put a stroke on this, just a one pixel stroke, just to uh, give me a guide for cutting out afterwards. Um, and when I actually did the actual picture of the customer, this was kind of critical because I had an isolated white background, so this blended into the actual paper. I didn't have this poor isolation here. Um, and I also had, um, I had them all lined up touching edges and it made it for a quick cut. So that's it. Um, like I said, I would I would line these all up so that they're all touching each other and I was making making it easier for me to cut afterwards and I'd put the same layer style on every single one of them so that I'd have that um, guide for cutting. That's it. Uh, I hope it helped out. Thanks.